Y94 Morning Playhouse. Good morning, Y94. I'm the Playhouse in the morning. And every once in a while, you just kind of really relish in the little things in life, right? Every once in a while, you just you find yourself whining. And you realize, man, this is like the littlest negative thing that I am whining about. But I'm acting like it is the world's worst. We don't really do the same thing for good news. Usually something has to just be like groundbreaking positive for us to brag about it. In my little victory in the Playhouse, what we do is we just really showcase those good things going on with you that are just like, eh, they're minor. They're maybe not brag worthy usually, but in this instance there, you got a little victory there, Amy Kay. Yes, I have been freaking out. So before I had my surgery, I had to get some blood work done and I got it back on my chart. And I have really high cholesterol. Uh oh. Like really scary high. And I was like, oh, and you have another thing? Well, maybe not. Yesterday I received a letter and he said, while it is from my doctor, he said, sorry, it's taking me so long to get back to you. Hope you're having a good holiday. Da da da. While your cholesterol is high, it's nothing that we need to be worried about as of right now. I don't need to be put on any medication. I just need to exercise and eat some vegetables. Hey! So that's good. Oh, no. You got to exercise and eat vegetables? Yeah, I know. It says I need to eat some veggies, have a high-fiber diet, which I've been trying to do since my surgery, too, because I think those things are kind of tied into each other. What's going yes. in my body is also coming out, so I need to work on that. Oh, I'm sorry you got to exercise and eat vegetables. That's a bummer. But, but at least I don't need to be on any medication or anything. You know on my chart how they have, like, green are the sections that are good, and then when it gets into the red... Mine was well into the red. I thought, OMG, I am going to have like clogged arteries. Listen, when all you eat is nuggets <laughs> and pizza, <laughs> nuggets and pizza. Yeah. You know, that was eventually to be a conversation. I think, yeah, there's some things that need to be changed, but at least it's not as severe as I thought. I'm happy for you. Thank you. Little victory to something you want to brag about, but you understand it's like a minor thing. Two, three, seven, it's text 35 to 70. Teddy swims. Lose control in the Playhouse, Y94. Good morning, Y94 of the Playhouse in the morning, in the middle of a round of My Little Victory. Just something good going on with you. Oh, my God. I'm obsessed. I cannot stop cleaning my shower doors. WD-40, are you ready for this? It gets rid of the hard water stains. <laughs> stop buying bathroom cleaner. WD-40, it works. I'm obsessed. You know, I keep hearing random things people are using that for. Who knew it was like the, the catch-all, end-all for problems? It is. It's the new Windex. <laughs> there you go. All right, WD-40. It's it's a thing. What are you seeing there as far as the Texan little victories? Someone said, got my car washed yesterday, and I'm just feeling good with a clean car. Another person said, I was able to wake up early, and I made two egg, ham, and cheese sandwiches this morning. I ate both, and they were delicious. And someone else said, I'm going on vacation tomorrow, but my husband and I both took today off just to get ready for vacation. We woke up early, had some coffee. We got to talk and enjoyed each other's company. It's going to be an easy day today. And your little victory is something good. Uh, my son, his dreams of becoming an NBA player were getting closer one day at a time. He scored his first basket in the game. I was electrified. I mean, I could stop jumping in the air. Almost got kicked out of there, buddy. Uh, so that you just like super excited, just living life. There we go. There be we go. careful, Congrats. though. There may be a day where you do get kicked out of the game. My dad would get True. too invested in my sister's soccer games where multiple times I thought he would get kicked out. Uh, little victory, what you got? So my good news is that I have been working towards this one job opportunity and I finally heard back from uh, the recruiter, and I had an interview in person with them. Oh, hey, that's exciting. There we go. Congratulations. Congrats. That is exciting. Some more little victories. Someone said, I got to see my 96-year-old great-grandmother yesterday. She was smiling. It was the first time I got to see her in over a year, and it just made my whole week better. Another person said, I washed my sheets last night, put them in the dryer. Then I ended up taking a shower. So they were done. They were warm when I got done out of the shower. And just falling asleep in clean sheets is the best feeling. And little victory, 237. It's text 3527 Playhouse in the morning. What is something good going on with you that you're like, you know what? This deserves to be shot at from the rooftop. Nice. It's Playhouse 194 doing my little victory to something good going on with you. Um, My good news is that I recently got a bonus, and I was surprised by my company 
They're just kind of like random money you weren't expecting. Yeah. Well, that'd be kind of fun. I That's wish... a nice victory. I did something that was worth a, <laughs> a surprise. random surprise pile of money. I don't want mine documented, though. I literally want mine in a sack with a giant dollar sign on it. You're not even going to know if it's for you, but you just assume. I assume, well, because, you know, you could t- theoretically spell zero with an S. So, if, yeah, if there's an S on it with those lines through it, I just assume yeah. they, they meant to write zero. That's zero. exactly Zero with an S. <laughs> you know, a lot of people use a Z, though. In that instance, I'll, I'll use mm-hmm. an S. It's, it's fair. We've seen some little victories. Yeah, someone said, I got my dining room t- uh, table together after three months. And another person saying, it's my birthday tomorrow, and I get free Starbucks. That's hey. my little victory. Happy early birthday. Mm-hmm. And someone else said, woke up this morning thinking it was 7 a.m., but it was actually still midnight, so I had so much more time to sleep. And another person said, I started dating a guy about six months ago, so this will be the first time that I will have a Valentine on Valentine's Day. And little victory. Oh, my gosh. My good news, my great news, can I say great news instead of good news? Um, Sure. My great news is that my daughter finally got her license. Well, hey, that is good news. If you've been having to kind of drive her around all the time and all that, no, that is perfect. I wonder if you're a little scared. A little nervous. Probably a little. Yeah. Right? You got your, but now got your you're little not, baby out there? You're not the chauffeur anymore. You're scared until you realize she's going somewhere and you can leave your butt on the couch? Yeah, you don't need to worry about it. Oh, you need something at Walmart? She can go pick it up. Little victory. You got something you're just like, this is fantastic. Yeah, my good news is that I got um, I got a red wine scene in my new carpet. And oh. I actually used, I Googled it and it said baking soda, baking soda. And I did not think this was going to work because... Does it ever work in the movies? No, but it worked. It actually got the red wine out of my new carpet. Like, I, I'm so grateful and ecstatic to everyone who posted this on Google, all the millions of people. Well, that works out pretty well, though, because, I mean, you have something like that, especially, you said it was white. You, you did not expect that stain coming oh, out. Oh, no. Right? I wonder if you would know this. Can Does coffee come out easily? I have coffee stains all over my white shirt. I spilled no. coffee. It doesn't. Are you serious? No, coffee's awful, man. Everything I have has a little bit of coffee splatter. Coffee on it, doesn't man. come out. Not very. It depends. How quickly did you get to it? I mean, I was in the break room. I lifted the lid off my cup, and with such force, it spilled down my stomach, and it's on my wrist. Uh, it's. I would get something like a stain, something. <sighs> get some awesome spray. My wife bought some, and you know what it is. It is awesome. Is it? This has the perfect name? Describe it that way. Some more little victories. Uh, someone said, since it hasn't been as cold as it usually is for January, I've been trying to take daily walks. Sometimes they're just short, but at least I'm getting out. And another person said, today's my day off. So no working and being able to do nothing all day. That's my little victory. Little victory. I'm so excited. My little brother just asked um, this girl to prom, like do a little prom puzzle. And um, she said, yes. And I'm super excited because I gave him the really cute idea on how to do it. Well, you can't leave us hanging on what the good idea was. What was the good idea? So they, well, so they went to a movie. They were having like a little movie date. And, um, you know, at the beginning now, how they like kind of, someone comes out and gives announcements about like, oh, you know, please don't talk during the movie. Um, he like jumped out, basically. He had it set up. So instead of doing the announcements, like he jumped out and asked her to go to prom and she was like super surprised and the whole movie theater cheered. It was really cute. That is pretty cool. Well, listen, if you have yourself some uh, photos of it, we do have a prom postal contest at 194.com or, you know, he got some photos of it or pictures or video Someone or whatever. Someone had to. Yeah, we gotta, I'm sure. Why would you even do that if you're not going to get it caught on phone? Yeah, we want to see it. You could get some prizes. Uh, do that at 194.com. Any final little victories? Yeah, someone else said... Oop, I exit out of it. I had a dream about playing and puppy or playing and petting, snuggling with baby dinosaurs last night. So that made me quite happy when I woke up this morning. I think I'd be scared to snuggle a dinosaur. What? What if it was just a little baby one? Yeah, I've seen Jurassic Park. Mama's nearby. I guess I didn't think about Mama. Mama's always yeah. nearby. Next.